So, uh, some bright news. I got a package, uh, actually two packages, but I already uh, disassembled in the one, so we can uh, save a little bit of time. And first one came from UK, and I got my copy of My Hero Academia Volume 26, which was uh, very difficult to get. I don't know why, it's uh, rarely available, something like that. It took me uh, about two or three months to get copy. But that's cool. Then next I got uh, the second part of the package just would be a uh, few high grades, two high grades actually. The first one is a uh, grace from Iron Blooded Orphans. Uh, standard type or commander type, whatever you choose to build, but in my case I already have built one. And I plan to do some uh, custom works on this one because I have a lot of spare parts few interesting ideas I try to uh, use on this model and uh, what I want to mention about this release it's a re-release by a new Bandai Batch if you will uh, they don't have a picture of the charter in the box which I think is a very welcome addition because charter arts weren't very good of course we have here a standard Parts for grace, nothing special, two bags, a little few parts because it's a simple model. As you can see, um, what I mentioned before, what I uh, kept in mind, uh, charter art. The first ones were okay, but later the quality of the art were very low and kind of were look like a cheap, cheap adaptation of box art somehow at least for me and now we have a clean one <coughs> clean one and nice looking box art and if you collect box art if you collect a box art I mean box covers this is very 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 good uh, and second one uh, it was also I have to mention before, but I mention now it was cheap, and it was a gem quail. If it is was cheap, but easily accessible, I know I had to get this one. And like previous in the Gray's case, I have a gem quail, but I built him a long, long ago. Maybe more than 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. And we can try this one. Uh, yeah, very old kit compared to the new day. And it doesn't mean it's a bad kit. It's actually a very good kit. It just has a few flaws. And back in the day, the GM Quell were coming from Advance of Zeta, uh, Advance of Zeta series. That's right, he had some gimmicks, few parts, as you can see parts are nicely color separated, it has a sticker sheet, various stickers, Titans, uh, Titans uh, experimental team, test team, sorry, test team, and yeah, it has a clear visor, which should be a standard, always standard, and few different Color shades of blue, or ah yes, of blue and dark gray. I think yes. The body comes out dark gray, and everything else is a blue. One shade of blue. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it was also a reprint when you are uh, Bandai logo, which one comes in a light blue, but man was somehow. Avoid this uh, new renovation and come back with a red log of old brand. Yeah, and I was talking about uh, gimmicks. Quill comes since it was a part of the Advance of Zeta series. He can be remade uh, with a hazel head and parts, so you can make your custom Titans test team model suit at will if you want to. And overall, Gem Quell is very, very good and cool looking marble suit, which again is 
underrated. I don't know why. No more variations of them well were shown up or made in any other representations of this beautiful marble suit. And to enclose my unboxing, let's say unboxing, the little bit of unboxing, whatever, I will, will have to admit I didn't pay too much for either packages or manga or two models. <coughs> Why do I mention this part? Because lately, since uh, related to situation in the world, uh, those kind of grand mobile suit models are very difficult to approach because um, resellers really trying to make some money of it and that's kind of fact is it really bothers me and I really do not appreciate such a policy of business so that much news from me for now and thanks for watching bye